Hello everyone, my name is Phil Rose, I'm the Director of the Bio Division here at Northreach, hope you're well and welcome to our second edition of the Recruiter Chronicles, an exciting new cast where we are bringing lots of the recruiters here at Northreach to find out a little bit more about their lives and what they get up to outside and inside of work. Today I have a very special guest, Taylor Iamunga, hello Taylor. Hello sir, how are you? Very good sir, I've been looking forward to this. Me not so much. <laughs> it's all good, I've got a few questions for you though. Right. Taylor, you've been in the business for what, seven, eight, nine, ten years? Seven. Seven. Ahead of us. Okay, fine. Tell us a bit more about yourself, mate. So, seven years ago, I moved back from Ireland. No job, no recruitment. Um, landing myself at Hayes, working on the trades and labour desk, where I sort of found my feet. Sorry to hear that. Yes, yeah, fine, don't <laughs> worry. For my sins, I must have been very naughty in my past life. Um, yeah. Did really well, senior consultant there. Moved on through COVID, a little bit of a tough time. Moved into the IT space. Um, I've got a few questions for you. Some are quick fire. There's a lot. So I'm going to pick a few funny ones and some interesting ones. Let's go. I'm ready. If recruitment was a book, what would its title be? Champagne and razor blades. I like that. Okay. Do you want to write a book? About recruitment. I'll be champagne, you can be razor blades. It's fitting. <laughs> you need a razor blade. <laughs> Very fitting, yeah. I don't drink anymore, oh, though. We'll have to swap. I know. I'm not sure it's that fun. <laughs> um, what's the mantra that powers your day? It's the one question I was hoping you wouldn't ask me. Um, I don't have one. Okay. I just get up, I do my thing. I enjoy what I do, so it's not that hard. I don't need anything to really drive me that much. What about a car? I mean, I've got one. <laughs> yeah, it drives me to work. Yeah. Good man. I don't live my life by any mentors. Fine. One piece of wisdom for your 20-year-old self. Don't get too high in victory, nor too low in defeat. If that's not wisdom, I don't know what is. Um, <laughs> we all have our own wisdoms. Which three words, sorry, which three words would you use to describe yourself? I would use, or anyone else. Driven, hardworking, and honest. Pretty sure they're the same ones I said about me. We have got the same middle name. Maybe there's a correlation. Let's not get into that. Although, if anyone wants to guess on LinkedIn what a middle name is, there'll definitely be some, uh, you get free next placement. Because you won't get it. Not from me. <laughs> you, you, won't, you won't get it. You won't get it. Um, what's the last series you binge watched? Suits. Good stuff. Um, John Hamm. No, that's. What's that one? Mad Men. I don't know. Watch that. Is it good? It's really good. <laughs> Who's John Hamm? Move on. Move on. Mike Ross. Yeah, I'm not saying it. It's too intelligent for me. Yeah. What's the most unusual job you've ever done? <laughs> I used to, I had a temp job over Christmas when I was about 18. And it was for Shoe, the, the, the footwear company. And for any returns that came into the shop, I had to untie the laces, pack them with the little tissue packaging and retie the laces. That was my job for six weeks. Wow, okay. <laughs> I've never met. I've never met one of them. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, it was quite good. I've never met one of them. That's awesome. Yeah, um, I'm glad I come to work today. No? <laughs> um, best piece of advice you've ever received that you've actually implemented? Stay focused. Work hard. And what will be will be. I suppose. Fair enough. I like that. Um, any game-changing resolutions for the year? Um, yeah, one's one's my health. Um, for you that know me out there, not not that well at the minute, but we're only in Feb. Um, drink less, eat less, rubbish. Okay. Um, I'm doing one of them. <laughs> Which one? I'm not sure. But yeah, yeah I've, I'm yet to see that. So we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll catch up soon and let you know how that's yeah, going. Can we do a volume two? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going. I'm Absolutely. Don't like do you know a perfect question to follow up? What's your ultimate go-to comfort food? Oh, steak. Oh. Is that comfort food? It is. Okay. Biscuits. Yeah? Biscuits. You know the little 
marshmallow with jam and sprinkles of coconut. No. They're like tiny little biscuits. They're called jam mallows. Little pink ones, sprinkles of coconut and jam. Has anyone ever heard of a jam mellow? Please comment. Is that an Irish thing? No, they sell them in Poundland. I'll go and get you some after this. Yeah, please. All right. Is that part of this new diet? No, but I've not needed comforting yet. You can put them on your steak. Be <laughs> <laughs> unreal. And your champagne. <laughs> well, your champagne. You can drink my champagne. Um, right, let's make some questions up now. You've been here, what, six months? Mm-hmm. You started off working in my team, in the bio, and then there's been a, a little shift in management. Um, who do you prefer to work for, me or Sam? Sam. Any particular reason before I chomp? Because this is who I'm working for now. <laughs> Such a weeble answer. No, honestly, I haven't got a preference. He's an like chalk and cheese. In what way? Oh, it's a tough question. You should start, you know. You've been friends for like 22 years. You know why you're chalk and cheese. I haven't got to explain that to you. Or... Should we move on? Yeah, let's do it. Let's say I was about to invest $200 million into a biotech company. Yeah. And I said to you, Taylor, I've heard you're pretty good at recruitment. You operate in this space. I need to hire 400 people in the next five years. I need you to build my R&D, my translational, my CMC, my non-clinical, my clinical, my med affairs, my reg affairs, my PV teams. And can you fill up the C-suite? You can have it all exclusive over the next five years. However, you are never allowed to pick up a golf club for the rest of your life again. What would you do? We'd work well together. Sorry to all my golf lovers. I love golf. But... So you're never ever, so you might make a bit of cash and get a reputation. You are never allowed to play golf in the rest of your life ever again. Yeah, I'd probably play golf every weekend. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I'll do the same. That's interesting, though. We're not all money grabbers. Everyone thinks we are. No, definitely play golf. That's my happy place. Okay. What's your favourite place to go to in the world? It's going to be golf-related, and it's going to be Adair Manor. Ireland? In Ireland. Ryder Cup. 2027 Ryder Cup. Watch this space. Are you playing in it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No, because you're filling roles at my bio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 because I've, I've filled 400 roles now. Um, but yeah, that, that would be the place I would pick. Cool. Um, Netflix or Prime? Netflix. Golf or darts? Golf. Darts or pool? Pool. Pool or checkers? Pool. Pool in the checkers or the red line? Red line. Red no, line. There's no pool table in the checkers. That's a good reason. Um, what would be your... Who do you support? Football? West Ham. How are they doing? Not that great. I'm going to move on. I don't like this question. No. Uh, Moyes, by the way. Who's, your, who's your hero? Your idol? Tiger Woods. <laughs> only, only one who says that. <laughs> he's, he's an absolute hero, isn't he? Hero. Despite what he's done... I'm going to spend a fortune on Sunday red clothing as well. <laughs> You've seen the new brands come out? Oh, unbelievable. Um, who's your second favourite golfer? Tommy Fleetwood. What, because you got the same hair as him? No, he's just quite cool and he's quite laid back. He's quite chilled and he's wicked at golf. Okay. Let me try and bring this back into recruitment somehow. <laughs> Where do you want to be in five years, recruitment-wise? Here. Yeah. Okay. Obviously. Um, head of UK bio would be quite nice sorry Phil I'll, hopefully I'll be retired to be fair so that'd be nice cool okay um, what do you enjoy most about working in the biotech world uh, obviously you've been in IT and construction yeah. so apart from the donuts on the sites what do you like about working with us on the uh, biotech side everyone's way nicer really easy to speak to CEOs CSOs candidates, clients, everyone is just much more easy to build relationships with, which makes it a lot easier. Why do you think that is? I think because there's an element of care and passion in what people do. So I find that the, the more I speak to candidates, especially there's a genuine reason as to why they're a scientist in 
immunology or they're, they're working on a certain product. About that. About telling us why they want to develop and make this their career. They won't move to another job for five pound a day because it's a support role. Basically that, yeah. Basically. Yeah, no, I agree. It's very good. Um, what has been your biggest challenge in this whole biotech world? Learning the the, the, the biotech language. There's, yeah, it's like. I feel like I'm just at the tip of the iceberg at the moment. What's your favourite like new biotech terminology that you use? Do you say to your missus when you get home? Ophthalmology. Ophthalmology. Okay. Does she ever ask you what a flow cytometer is? Uh, thankfully, no. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a really cool dinner conversation. Loads of colours. Yeah. <laughs> loads of colours. Okay. Loads of colours. Right, we've entered the um, the quick fire phase. Let's do it. Apologies, I can't remember them all. So, right, sunrise or sunset? Sunset. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Now. Mountains or beaches? Beaches. Books or movies? Movies. Cats or dogs? Dogs. R you've got a cat, yeah? It's not my cat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Running or cycling? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to answer it for you. <laughs> um, singing or dancing? Dancing. <laughs> um, pizza or pasta? Pasta. Comedy or thriller? Comedy. Summer or winter? Summer. City life or countryside? Countryside. Classic music or rock and roll? Best of a bad bunch, rock and roll. Cooking at home or dining out? Dining out. Early bird or night owl? Early bird. Romantic or practical? I, I hope she doesn't see this romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to ask her. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, golf or football? Golf. Sci-fi or fantasy? Fantasy. Sweater or hoodie? Hoodie. Cool or text? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can vouch for that. Anyone who knows Taylor. Um, thank you. No, I know. This modern world we live in. Hiding behind the phone. Um, thank you for that. That's right. Just to finish this off with something a bit more serious. So, if you were uh, given any advice to any colleagues, friends, family that want to get into recruitment, particularly biotech, somewhere like Northridge, we've worked in a few different places, a bit smaller, more of a family feel, trying to go this way. Um, what would your biggest bit of advice be? It's not a quick win. You can definitely make a career out of it. You've got to stick with it. Be focused. Work hard. And as long as you do that, you'll do all right. There you have it, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to um, episode two of the Recruiter Chronicles. Um, thank you so much, Taylor, for coming on board. Thanks for having me. Uh, lovely to have you and answer all the questions. Hope you found it insightful and stay tuned for episode three. <laughs>